opening up the UFC 303 main card, we have what I think might be the most interesting fight on this card. This is certainly the outside of the main event, the highest stakes on the card. We have Ian Gary, undefeated Irish prospect, taking on Michael whoa, Venom Whoa, 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 whoa. Not his name. Uh-uh. Ian Gary Machado. Undefeated. Machado Gary. It's even worse, dude. Put it at the end. It's even worse to put it in the beginning. When you oh, hyphenate hey, a dude, name, hey, you put hey, it at the end. Hey, do not speak about my, about my Brazilian brother like that. Okay? <laughs> I will not tolerate he speaks you speaking. Portuguese. Yeah. Fala Portuguese. Yeah. I know. Unlike Vou say you. fala Portuguese. Yeah. I speak as well. Yeo fala Portuguese as well. <laughs> Ian Machado Gary taking on Michael Venom Page. Venom is a nickname, not part of his actual name. Ian Gary is undefeated in his career. He's coming off that split decision win over Jeff Neal. He's taking on Michael Venom Page. 22-2 and two in his career. 4-1 and one in his last five. He's coming off a very successful UFC debut. This is a battle of high-level technical strikers. That's what this is. They're both high-level technical strikers that have a ton of offense and okay defense. Ian Gary's striking defense is not what we all think it is. When he made his UFC debut, that dude was cracked, and he was cracked hard, and it was a problem. Oh, I was there. I actually was at um, so I was actually at UFC 285. Where oh, I saw, wow, okay. Uh, that wasn't his UFC debut, you idiot. You were talking you about when he idiot. got cracked. And and it's not that wasn't the first time. It also happened in his UFC debut. You I was idiot. at UFC <laughs> 285. Yeah, at UFC 285, he fought Song Kanan. Song Kanan almost put his lights out. But what was impressive is he recovered. If he had any other referee, they probably would have stopped that fight. It was very bad and very close to being stopped. Hell yes, it was. And he got on that stool. Were he you recovered. There? He recovered. He came back out and he won the next two rounds and ended up with a late finish. But Ian Gary has precise, accurate, powerful striking. And the power isn't just like one punch, boom type power. It's because he is accurate. It's because he has that length and the speed that he's catching you off guard and making things happen. But he's taking on Michael Venom Page. This is a very different style of opponent. This isn't Daniel Rodriguez standing there marching forward. Michael Venom Page has a combat karate background. He's never in one place for more than a half a second. He hangs out well on the outside and then will come launching his body in. He will cover six, seven feet of ground running forward to land a big strike. Michael Venom Page is wildly impressive. The things that he did in his last fight were insane. A spinning back elbow. He has destroyed more human being body parts than any other fighter I can think of. Go watch the pictures or go find the pictures of Cyborg after he fought Venom. Literally a crater in his head. He's destroyed knees, faces, heads, bodies. Michael Venom Page can make stuff happen. He does have a loss. He's had a couple of losses in MMA. One of them was the most impressive knockout I've ever seen from Douglas Lima. But he does have a loss in bare knuckle boxing against Mike Perry. Mike Perry was able to have some success because he made that fight as dirty and disgusting as you possibly could. He was in the pocket, just never not in Michael's face. Because if you give Michael Venom Page space to work, that's where he could time those lunges. That's where he can hang out on the outside and set things up. If you stay in his face and you make it ugly, he might not be able to move. Ian Gary is going to give him space because that's how he fights as well. My gut and my brain are split here. My gut is like, Ian Gary's going to win. He's younger. I think he's the real deal. But my brain is like, Ian Gary gets hit. We watched him almost finish. In his UFC debut, that dude got blasted. He's not insanely dangerous. And he is fighting the most creative, most dangerous striker he has fought to date. I wish Paige was a little younger, but I do think some of these strikes, the lunges, that spinning back elbow that he landed on Kevin Holland in his last fight puts Ian Gary out 10 out of 10 times. I am going to pick Michael Venom Page here. This is an awesome fight. I'm looking forward to it. What do you think, Jakey boy? Did you just fart on stream? Pretty sure that was your take right there. <laughs> so what if you actually shit your pants and try to do a bit? I don't have that 
issue, Angela. I'm not one of these people. Didn't just... you spend 80% of your childhood getting worked on by doctors like an ET yeah, movie? And I because figured you it out. I went pants? to your house on a random two o'clock on an afternoon on a Saturday and the toilet bowl was exploded for no reason. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? It's two o'clock on a Saturday. You have explosive diarrhea. I don't have those issues. I can control what's going on down there and in here and what I'm going to put in. <laughs> uh, listen. Not a great take, not the best take I've ever seen. This is um, this is going to be. Ian Gary's going to show you why the fuck he's Ian Gary, Ian Machado Gary. Ian Machado's not Ian Gary. <laughs> my Brazilian brother. I told you guys that, he, that the Brazilians were going undefeated on this card, and you might have thought, okay, Jean Silva, Vinicius Oliveira, Bruno Silva, Diego Lopes, maybe he's kind of half and half, and then we got Alex Pereira. Guess what? You forgot one. <laughs> Because me, as a Brazilian, as you know, I'm one-third Brazilian, one-third Japanese, one-third American. We have adopted Ian Gary into being Brazilian. Ian Gary is a Brazilian in this fight. He is going to go undefeated with the Brazilians. He's going to show you how good he is in this matchup. And I say it for this to say this. Because obviously I know Michael Venom Page is good, right? And he's a flashy guy, you know, all this stuff. One person is coming to this fight to put on a fucking show, right? To do the stuff, to, to put a name, and blah, 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 blah. And one person, okay, my beautiful Brazilian brother, is coming into this fight to fucking win. Ian Gary doesn't give about a fuck about anything except for fucking winning. He will clinch this guy. He will try to get takedowns. He will do anything it takes to win this fight where this dude, Michael Venom Page, wants to put on a show. He had Kevin Holland knocked out, held him up to continue fighting because he wanted to put on more of a show. He is a showman. That's why we love him. But when showmen meet people like Ian Machado, my Brazilian brother, who has just as many striking abilities as him, Ian Gary's going to put on a show. And I think he's going to remind people that he, quite possibly, could be the next champ. And it's going to be Ian Gary and Jack Della Maddalena running this division for 10 years. Never heard of that Shavkat lady. <laughs> I will, uh, I'll bet you. But Is instead of did, do- just make a deposit. When's the last time? <laughs> I feel, I'm, I honestly, I feel bad, dude. I'm not going to do a bet openly bet. I was oh! going to do, we're going to be in Vegas. I was going to bet some shots like a man. $500 I'll put on this. I was going to bet We couldn't do our bet on like uh, a man. Let's make this our Michael Chandler and um, I don't do shots. Let's do no, this. No. Our Michael Chandler and uh, No, I'm not that confident in Venom. Oh. I'm not as confident in Venom as I was against Michael Chandler against You just wa- you just want to do shots. Want, yeah. You hope you lose. Oops. <laughs> We're going to the buffet. I don't do shots. Okay, well, that's on you. <laughs> $500. No, I'm not betting. That's so dumb. <laughs> 400 No. 300 I'll do $100. $100 is fucking nothing. Maybe to you. Yeah, I'm a, wow, look I'm who a big single, shot Jacob is. I'm a, a big yeah, shot. I'm a, I'm, a big shot. Single, I'm a single guy with two full-time jobs, living in an apartment with no kids. You goddamn right. <laughs> You goddamn right I'm balling. You hear that, ladies? You goddamn right I'm fucking balling. And if you're interested, you like my personality, maybe even my looks, and you, you I mean maybe uh, both of those are sketchy. There's the Just Instagram. The bank there's the Twitter. I'm locked, loaded, and ready to go. We can buy half a city in Brazil and live there for the rest of our lives. You just send a DM and let me know. I'll be in Vegas this weekend. Let's have some fun. We're split on this fight. You trust Ian Gary for your DraftKings lineup? You think he wins by finish? Uh, I actually think that this is one of the more boring fights we've ever seen in our lives, but Ian Gary's just going to find a way to win it. Uh, I, think it's, I, th- I, think it's, I think it's boring as shit. It, it may be. And Michael Page, they talked about after his last win, somebody said you versus Wonderboy would be amazing. And he had the self-awareness enough to be like, no, it wouldn't. I'm too technical, and he's too technical. It would not be a fun fight. Just- Which is like not... Uh, you know all those memes now floating around of Sean Strickland where it's like Sean Strickland at the press conference, I'm going to die out there for you, and then Sean Strickland in the fight in like the yeah. crane stance. And like 
Sean Strickland doesn't have the self-awareness, right? But Michael Venom Page does. He's like, no, me versus another high-level striker, the technical striker is not a fun fight to watch. So he knows that. People are questioning that it's going to be boring. Dude, Ian Gary does not want He knows he didn't want to take this fight. He don't want to fight, and he says he just wants to win. If that means just standing out in distance and doing Can't calf control. kicks for 15 minutes, that dude, I promise you, Ian Gary does not give a fuck about anything but winning, and he's going to make it. He, he, he knows how dangerous this guy is. He knows how much this could ruin everything that he's built at this point to get a title shot, right? I mean, this could be a, a situation where Michael Venom Page takes everything that Ian Gary works for if he gets a win in this situation. Ian Gary's going to make this mo- most boring fight ever. And he's just gonna figure out how to win. And that be. could very well that a hundred percent could very well be. I, I think you know, I opened it by saying this is one of the most important fights or has the highest stakes outside the main event. Because to your point, Ian Gary beats Page, all of a sudden it's like, when does he get his title shot? Or Michael Venom Page smokes Ian Gary, it's like this dude's 36, he needs a title shot immediately before he's too old and the and the energy's gone. But send him to London to watch that fight and give him the winner. So this is an interesting fight. There's a lot going on. I'm going to be looking very much forward to this. I'm picking Paige. He's picking Ian Gary. But if you do want to check out any bets that we have on this fight or any of the other fights, just go to wewantpicks.com. Click become a member. It's $10 a month. You'll unlock all the picks, the bets, the tools, the insight, the round line leans, and seven people worth the fights and our robot. We have an artificial intelligence picking fights based solely off of historical data. You asked me what I was doing. So I got an email from another YouTuber um, that basically said, hey, I know you're busy. I do this show. I interview people. I've been following your journey. Do you want to come on the show and do the interview? And so I responded. This this gentleman also did a um, tier list. You know, tier list. Obviously, you're the young, cool one. A tier list of his favorite MMA YouTubers. And I was on the list, but I like wasn't that high. So I responded I saying, no. So I responded. What the fuck? It, it just said he did. We fuck want this picks. guy. <laughs> well, so I responded with. And Wait, I'm just it was being, just it was just we want picks, but you just said it was just you. It was we want picks, but he only talked about me. He's like, I really watch for Angelo. I this like Angelo loser, and his dude. vlogs. This guy's a fucking loser. Well, so I responded. My exact response was motherfucker. This was like a nice email. Like, I'd love if you come on the show. I follow you or whatever. I wrote, motherfucker, didn't you do a tier list of MMA YouTubers and have me at the bottom? So we're going to find out if he's chill or not based off his response. Because you know, I'll do the show. What do I care? But if he's like, wah, 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 then no. If he goes, LOL, yeah, because. And it's like, all right. Not Congrats that. on all the opportunities that are coming your way. <sighs> yeah, Nothing like doing, <laughs> doing an interview with a stranger. 